hey y'all welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back if you're not either way i am so grateful that you took a few minutes out of your busy schedule to spend a few minutes with me today i know that there are a thousand things that you could be doing so thank you thank you thank you for popping in i am not going to waste your time we're going to get straight into the video but before we do if you're looking to move into the new orleans area please give me a call i would be honored to help you so let's go y'all may be considering moving to New Orleans or even if you just want to come for a visit how you plan to navigate around the city is a major thing to consider so I want you guys to be aware of all the various modes of transportation that we have here as opposed to, or as an alternative to having to drive a car New Orleans is a very easy city to navigate no cars needed here guys we have so many different types of public transportation that other cities may not have new orleans is home to the historic streetcars, which are an extremely charming way to casually and leisurely explore the city it's my second favorite form of transportation with ferries being the number one which we'll get to a little later here in a second many locals rely on the streetcars to commute to work because they are relatively inexpensive as opposed to having to pay for gas and exorbitant parking prices downtown. One way y'all is $1.25. The streetcars can take you from St. Charles Avenue uh, to Canal Street, to the iconic cemeteries, to City Park, to the New Orleans Museum of Art, New Orleans Riverfront. And the system just recently added the Rampart St. Claude Avenue line. So uh, check that one out. Normally, most of the streetcars run practically 24 hours a day, but you want to make sure you check the uh, alerts before you travel. I'll drop a link down below for you to easily uh, click on that to check the alerts. Buses. We have, regional, we have the Regional Transit Authority, RTA, which has almost 40 routes, many normally run in 24 hours a day through practically every neighborhood in the city from uptown to downtown from Lakeview to the Lower Ninth Ward, Mid-City, across the river. I mean, just all the way to the parish lines, and it's only $1.25 one way. Now, obviously, COVID has affected every aspect of our lives, which may include transit. Additionally, we have construction updates and holidays coming up, so the schedules may be affected. Be sure you check the service alerts in advance, link below. There are also neighboring transit systems. Uh, Jefferson Parish has the Jefferson Transit or JET, and St. Bernard Parish has the Rapid Urban Transit or SBIRT, which are also public transit systems, but they're completely independent of the RTA. The beauty of this, though, is that riders can transfer seamlessly from RTA to JET to SBIRT and vice versa without any hassles whatsoever. But just know that the RTA, JET, and SBIRT all have separate fare and pass options that are not transferable from one to the other. Paratransit. Now, what most people don't know or may not know is that RTA also has a paratransit service. Um, this option is a shared ride service designated to help customers who due to either a disability or a disabling health condition and they're unable to ride RTA's regular transit services, they can ride the paratransit services. Now, my favorite is the ferries. We have ferries that have traveled across the Mississippi River since 1827, y'all. You can just drive your car right onto the ferry and cross the Mississippi without having to worry about that bridge traffic. And if you're a water fanatic like I am, this is a wonderful option to escape the hustle and bustle of rush hour traffic by enjoying the water, taking in the scenery, and letting somebody else do the driving for just $2. The ferries run tentatively every 15 minutes, seven days a week. And as of this recording, the Algiers Point Canal Street Ferry operates from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Lower Algiers Chalmette Ferry operates from 6 a.m. to about 5 p.m. daily. But again, check the schedules. They may be subject to change. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that the streetcars, the buses, and the ferries all have reduced rates for senior citizens and disabled passengers, with uh, the streetcar being 40 cents and the ferries a dollar. So remember that. Okay bikes obviously you may bike anywhere in the city you know anywhere your legs can manage to take you but did you know that you can ride and bike on the rta yes 
All RTA standard buses are equipped with bike racks on the front so that customers can ride, you know, you can ride your bike to the closest bus stop, put your bike on the front, hop on the bus, and, you know, transfer transport all around town at no additional fee. The bikes ride free, y'all. But it is on a first come, first serve basis, and I believe that it's two bikes per bus. So now the streetcars don't have bike racks, but you are welcome to bring a properly folded folding bike on board. And then bikes, of course, are always welcome on the ferries at any time. Just be sure you secure them at a properly designated bike rack on board. Next, we have pedicabs. We have licensed pedicabs for those trips that just aren't quite far enough to be bothered with hailing a cab, yet just a little too far to walk. This is an environmentally friendly way to see the city. Uh, and I don't understand how they can do all that pedaling, but they do. The city is also accessible by Uber, Lyft, taxis, and limousines. And last but not least, there's always walking. If you're staying in the French Quarter, uh, downtown, or in the Arts and Warehouse districts, you won't need to hire transportation of any kind. You are able to walk to all your destinations, no problem. So as you can see, you can pretty much go anywhere you want in the city without owning a vehicle. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of valuable and insightful information from this video. If you did, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Listen, and please share it. If you know anyone or someone that might be uh, thinking about moving to New Orleans and you think that they would find this useful, please, by all means, share the video with them as well. Also, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'll answer every single one of them, I promise. And if you are looking to move to New Orleans, call me, text me, email me, DM me. I would be honored to help you call New Orleans your home. I love y'all. See you next time. Bye.